Welcome back to the only game where I can bomb innocent road going civilians and get away with it. It's Beeman G Drive and I'm Mr. Not So Good doing a mod review on the B25 Mitchell by Joe LVB. Now this mod is two years old, is it's gotten this last update a little over two years ago. Um, unfortunately we do only have two variants up here. Um, this one is the classic American livery. Oh, what the heck? Wait, what? Oh, there he is. We got a bomber inbound. We need to get in the air, boys. We need to take that guy. Oh, wait. He took himself down. Loser. Serves you right. Well, we need to get in the air. We're war, war boys. Hold on. I'll talk more about this mod in a second. So enough with that silly intro. Let's get cereal now, just like Captain Crunch. So there's two versions in this mod pack, the being a realistic handling version and the being an arcade version, which we're going to do some pretty stupid stuff in the arcade version. Don't worry, we're going to check that one out. Right now we're focused on this one, the realistic version with the iconic American livery skin. Um, this one we're going to do some simulation flying. I'm going to keep it nice and clean and tidy and make it look super cinematic. And we're going to try and come in for a landing, which I am pretty sure I'm going to fail because I am not a pilot as I'm flying off the runway already. I'm gonna try and keep it together. Now we're supposed to take off at around 130 miles an hour, which is roughly 220 kilometers an hour. The mod creator is apparently not from America, which is really ironic. Really ironic. I figured an American mod creator would create this, but nope, that is not the case. That's not the point. So we're just gonna talk a little bit about the history of this plane. Uh, this plane was first introduced in 1941. And the reason why it was designed, it was to carry a pay payload of 2,100 pounds, at least 1,200 miles, at 300 miles per hour. That's what its purpose was being designed. And the reason why it's called the B-25 Mitchell is because it was named after Major General William for his contribution to the military aviation advancements during the World War II period. I really do like this. There was a really missed, really, really big missed opportunity with this mod because there was a number of different variants produced in real life as this thing served many, many, many years after the war was ended. Uh, nearly 10,000 of these were commissioned and built. Like, just in the total, and my notes here, I'm gonna flip the page so I sound professional. Now, um, what's okay, so. Yeah, these were operating across four decades, which is kind of insane considering this is a design for a, a war purpose and it ended up being so efficient that they just kept on using them after the war because the design was just so good. Uh, I'm going to straighten up right here once we gain some altitude and I'm going to try and get to the claimed 300 miles per hour cruising speed that this was advertised to be at, which if you're wondering is 186. Wait. Wait, yeah, 300 kilometers an hour is a 186 miles per hour. Yeah, I, I keep getting them confused. So the mod form said that this thing flies at 300 Ks, but my Google research stated that the cruising speed was actually 300 miles per hour for this plane. So we're going to try and to do 300 miles an hour as this is the realistic version. So it should be able to get up there. I'm trying to keep it steady. I'm flying on controller. Like I said, I am not an aviation god. Most of my controller experience is racing and driving cars, not flying aircraft. But these are just so much fun to crash and look at. It's hard not to do airplanes on my channel. And, oh, this thing looks so good flying in the air. It looks amazing. We're not getting to the 300 claimed miles per hour. I do have to have a slight pullback. I do have trim controls to actually, the mod creator did implement this. Oh, my trim's inverted. No wonder. Oh wait, that's the wrong thing I'm adjusting. I need to adjust. I'm trying to fly and do adjustments. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to die. Can I, can I shoot the gap so I don't die? Okay, cool, I'm not dying. Now press delete to change it to the rudder. And now, we're going to add some trim and if I'm not mistaken that is making it worse that is making it worse I'm going the wrong way with the trim oh my goodness we're gonna die oh we didn't die we're good okay I'm just gonna keep going back the other direction oh wait what's the rudder doing okay so it needs to go back am I doing the wrong inputs for the rudder I am doing the wrong inputs I was going the right way the first time Holy crap. Oh, we're almost at 300 miles an hour. 
Heck yeah, we were flying over the Daytona Speedway. That is pretty sick. All right, now we're going back to where we're supposed to be going, I think. I'm not even watching where I'm flying. I'm watching the, the uh, rudders in the back. Are they going up? I don't think they're going up. Honestly, boys, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, crap. Oh, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, we're becoming a taco. Don't die. Don't die. Stay in the player. Stay in there. Come on, boys. We're not going down. I'm keeping y'all alive. I'm keeping y'all. Oh, we're dead. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> what the f <laughs> I'm recording this clip after I made my initial video because I wanted to talk about a war story that this plane did serve in because the impact it had on American aviation in its time. And I did come across one extraordinary tale of a plane called Patches. Uh, it was the 321st bombing group during World War II and it, this plane survived an incredible 300 missions and it was sporting over 400 patch flank holes through her fuselage. It was so distorted and messed up, the flight crew had to constantly apply both trim and rudder constructions to fly straight. And it's just outstanding that the durability of this aircraft, or I guess that could be probably chalked down to luck, but there's multiple crazy stories and it's, it's just amazing. I, this, this plane has such a fondness in my heart now just because of all these stories. And why am I going so fast? I literally have the gear down, the flaps down, I have everything down and I'm just still increasing speed. Slow it down, I just wanna land you once. Can I do one landing? Maybe, come on. Oh God, oh, oh Jesus. Oh, how many gears have we got left? Oh, we still got two landing gears left, baby. That's a success in my book, my crew's still alive. We, we survived the war. That's what I'm talking about. This is my war story right here. Okay, back to the regular scheduled program. This one is the arcade version, which should be a lot easier to fly. And we're gonna fly this one for the remainder of the video, giving it as easier to fly for us. But we might switch back depending on some certain situations that we're trying to achieve. Now we're gonna take this one off in the air. In my opinion, I think this one looks better. It is noticeably more shiny, which is always a plus. So, oh no, oh, oh god, no, no, oh, goodness gracious. Do y'all think we would have survi survived that crash? Let me know in the comments, and you can make fun of my voice crack as well while you're down there. Uh, this time, I'm not going to forget to ask y'all to subscribe to my channel. I literally forget to ask y'all to subscribe every single time I, I record. Uh, my current subscriber goal is to get to 420. If you do want to be a part of the OG 420 gang, then you should subscribe now instead of later. Because those there, there's only so many spots. The OG 69 crew is already taken up. So in order to get to the OG 420, you have to subscribe right now is our only chance. All right. So I was going to do something else, but we're going to save that plan later for in the video. Right now, we're going to hit some of these. I call them speed rings. Oh, we're about to go down. Oh, we were, this thing's going to it's going to kill me. Oh, we barely got away with that. Goodness gracious. Now. This one, the, what makes this one easier to fly is because it's harder to put yourself in critical situations, which I will demonstrate that with the other one here in a second after I collect some of the speed rings. I'm getting a speed ring. I'm not going to die. Okay, cool. Now we got to go hit this one over here, and then we got to early, got to go ahead and start turning back because we are slow. Oh, this is, all right, so this is the other one. So I'm going to show you all exactly what I was talking about, how the realistic version is kind of, it, it's helpful, but not helpful at the same time. Now, I'm not an airplane flyer dude guy, so I don't know if this is completely 100% accurate, but after this, we're gonna do some pretty stupid stuff, and you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. All right, so what I was telling y'all about, let me put the gear up. Now, if you pull straight up, you can do these. You can go past these vertical input points that just don't make sense. You can do one, you, you, you can do one of those. There's like no flying assist. Now, if I go over back to this guy and I try and attempt the same things, it's not going to let me. And that's what makes it easier to fly this one being it doesn't allow you to put yourself in those critical situations that make you stall out or lose airspeed. And that's why we're gonna be doing this one for doing all the dumb stuff. First thing I wanna do is I wanna try and do what I did with the Cessna. If we don't know what I'm talking about, you're about to figure out, or you can just go check out my Cessna video. Nudge, nudge, nod, nod, if you get what I'm saying. But first, 
we're gonna fly up these rings i'm gonna try and fly up this in the cessna i was able to do it just fine but we're gonna see if we can do it in the bomber all right we're off to a good start we gotta pull up quickly we gotta go back down this is a lot harder given we are having a lot much higher rate of speed we're getting a little too low that was sketchy honestly that probably helped me out because that scrubbed a lot of speed Oh, how are we doing? I'm on the rudders. We gotta turn back the other way or I'm gonna clip my wing off. I can't do any critical inputs or I will end up dying, which is not what we're trying to do just yet. If I can do this. Oh, I still need to do a landing for y'all. I'll try and do it this attempt. We are gonna make it. We got one more to go. Oh, oh no, this isn't looking good. We lost a wing. Mayday, mayday, mayday over oh, dead. We can't mayday anymore. All right, here we are. Here we are. Oh crap. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're going to compare the off-road ability between this and the Cessna, which the Cessna is way much better of, of an off-roader. Off this thing, the Cessna puts this thing to shame. What? I didn't want to spawn over here. I wanted to spawn over there. No, stop it. I want to spawn here, game. Let me spawn right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we got, whoa, slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Stop breaking. All right, we can still got one engine. We can still off-road. It's not done yet. Can we pick up the thrusters? Oh my gosh, these, these these wings are a problem. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's 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 let, let's rip these wings off. We need to get these wings out of the way. All right. So grab. Let's do this node here. Come on. And we're gonna turn it up to a hundred strength. What? No. Don't do that. That's weird. Stop that. Okay. I guess we're just gonna rip it off. Give me the wing. Oh, I, I took the whole that cap. What's going on? Oh my gosh! <laughs> how do you how do you dis how do you detach the nodes? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. No, stop! Just leave my plane alone, you monster! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, what do I do? <laughs> this is like my life. It just doesn't work out. It's just falling apart. <laughs> oh my god. Where's the note at? What the? Where, where'd it go? Oh, there. It's all the way over there. Get stop screen. What do you, no. Can I just disconnect the note from here? What if I press control Z, freeze physics? Okay, whew, that was close. Huh. I don't know what to do. How do I, how do I, how, how do I fix this? Oh no. Stop it, you monster! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Push tab. No, not tab. F8. Oh, here's the node. Do I just click it? How do I get rid of you? Do I just, do I just boop, 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 boop? Then push F? Nope. That's weird. What's my frame rate? Oh, cool. I'm getting 60 frames. That's nice. That's what I I have my cat set to 50 frames, by the way. That's that's my limit. I, my, my PC can't do more, but I don't need to do more. I just need to do 60 for YouTube. Can I click this off? I can't. Okay, this one's cursed. This That one's cursed. You, 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 I can't help you, bud. You, I've, I, sorry. Okay. Now, we're just going to have to fly the realistic one, I guess. Get off my screen. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Okay, there we go. Now press Control Z. That's my home map. Very loud. All right. So off-roading, we can we, we, we confirm that the Cessna sucks at off-roading. Don't... I mean, not the Cessna. We confirm that the B-25 Mitchell is not a great off-roader. Don't go off-roading. If you're looking for a plane to go off-roading in, the B-25 is not for you. But if you are looking for a plane to F up some traffic, I think this might be just the plane that you're looking for. Um... Oh man, that was a segue to spawn up traffic. That's what I should do. Yeah, I'm gonna go spawn up traffic. I was gonna do something else, but I just accidentally segued to traffic. So what we're gonna do is click to AI. And we know that's not what we're gonna do. Where's the traffic mod? Okay, is it in AI? Okay, I guess we are gonna go to AI. Traffic. Let's do start traffic. And my frame, my game should skip a little bit. Hello? Yeah, there's a frame rate drop I was talking about. Oh, that's a lot of traffic. How am I gonna take off? I can't. I can't take. I can't even bomb these guys. So let's press Control W. And we're gonna go to Ordnance, and we're gonna do four bombs. 
So now we now we load it up. We got a payload. But y'all need to get off the runway. This is for me. I'm a plane. Y'all are a car. You can't be here. Scram. Or I'm going to blow you up. That's what I thought. Get out of here. You don't want to get blown. Oh, there's a lot of traffic. We need to pull up. Oh, no. We're not going up. We're not going up. No, 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 no. Oh, no. There goes the back. Oh, the, the cars are winning. We no longer have a plane. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Oh, ah! The army of cars is coming. They, they don't want me to get in the air because they know if I get in the air, I'm going to bomb them. We got to go over here. Yeah, that's right, losers. You don't have your AI mapped over here, do you? That's what I thought. Punks crashing me down and stuff. Yeah, go grab your engine somewhere. Where's my bomb doors? All right, I got my bombs. You're my target. You, you, that bomb better connect. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I'm killing myself. Oh, can I at least t take someone out? Can I take you out? Oh, I got someone. W. Don't worry. We're going to continue wrecking traffic because that's really fun. But I want to show you all the cockpit. I haven't been in here. This is so cool. Look at the whoop, 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 whoop. You swim me. Ayo. Let's go. Ayo. Okay, sorry. Is this really how planes were back in the day? It was all hazy and stuff. Oh, look, there's my engine. I would be terrified of that prop coming loose and just going into my forehead. Jesus, that's terrifying. What are you doing? St go away. I'm doing a mod review. Jesus, people. What is, what is, oh, throttle works. Cool. Brakes. I know I have I have airplane brakes. Where's the airplane brake button lever? Is it not mapped? I guess now what we're going to do is we're going to go and fly and see how all the gauges work. Go ahead and turn the thrusters all the way up. I really can't see any cars. Oh, I see them now. Oh, gosh. I don't know where the cars are. Okay, I need to pull up. Oh, I, I took someone out. Oh, I'm, I'm taking more out. I, I killed a bunch of cars, but I think we're in the air. I think we got away with it. Yeah, we killed a few cars, but we're flying now. We're okay. Now we can check the gauges out. It doesn't look like any of the gauges are working. Yeah, none of the gauges are working. The only things that do work are the joystick and the throttle. As you can see moving right now with the motion blur going freaking crazy. Uh, is there anything else we can look at in here? Um, there's nothing at all. Uh, I'm just, ah, like oh, I feel like I'm about to crash it. No, we got ample airspeed. We should be. I should be able to pull out of this. Should be able to pull out of this. Oh, that was scary. Oh my gosh. Okay, where's the traffic at? Oh, what the heck is going on? This isn't part of the plan. Oh my gosh. Oh crap. Drop the bombs to survive the crash. Oh, I bombed myself. What I just figured out is I'm not a good pilot at all. Um, I've also figured out that the B-25 Mitchell is not great for off-roading. You don't want to off-road this plane if you're, if you're looking. You, we already talked about this. What else have we learned today? We learned that we, we figured out why cars don't drive on runways. That's 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 why we don't let cars drive on the runways. We also learned that today. I'm done with the educational segment. Now we're going to crash this thing on purpose, even though I've given y'all beautiful crashes. But one thing I haven't done in my own time is just like a head down, like suicide crash. Let's go ahead and get up in the air, put the gear up, open the bomb bay doors, drop them for fun. Get rid of all the bombs so we're lighter. Put the day boot back up. Did we land? Oh, oh, we connected. We gotta connect. Awesome. I needed that footage in the, in, in the video. Yep, he is he's shitting himself. He just drove off the road. All right. So we need to fly high up in the sky. But there's the aircraft carrier, and now we're gonna go straight down. Straight down. We need to find the car to hit. Oh, there's a car. Slow mo, slow mo, slow mo, slow mo, slow mo, slow mo. Oh, but I don't have slow mo map. Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot when you fly planes, you know, you're not allowed slow mo. A nice little hack is we can just drop the plane from all the way up here, and we don't even have to take off. We can just do this right here. We can dive straight down and pull up. Oh crap! This is no. We can't do that. Never mind. All right, let's try this again. Full thrusters, gear up. Okay, now we're gonna start pulling out early since we already have our ample speed. Nice and easy, a gradual bank. We don't need to break the airplane. Oh crap. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a good one. 
Oh my gosh, the fuselage just died. Here comes the back of the rest of the plane starting to crunch. The camera does not know what to do. And uh, we are slowly... I mean, there's no slowness about it. We are dead. We are disintegrated. There's no more plane left. Whoever was in this plane is no longer in this plane. If, if you get what I'm saying, you, you know what I'm saying? We're still going way too fast. Oh, 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 not good. Not good, not good. Okay, yeah, I think landing on that is impossible. Are we still flying? We're still, we didn't die. We got away with that. We are not dead. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Don't, don't get in the water, don't get in the water. We can still survive this landing. P put the gear up, <laughs> put what gear is left up. All right, cool, I'll put the gear back down. We're getting ready to put her down. Stay, stay in the plane. We're gonna make it to the runway. We're going to make it. We don't, don't quit on me yet. Don't quit on me. We're going to put you down. Don't worry, boys, we're gonna survive this. We're going home to your families. It might be a little rough, but we're not survivor dead. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think that'll do it for this video. I'm sorry I did not get a landing for y'all. I am just not good enough. But this is a really nice place to end it off. Thank you all for watching. Toodaloo.